Welcome to Chem Whiteboard. In this video, we will review how to work with vapor pressure curves. Vapor pressure curve is the liquid gas boundary of the phase diagram. Let's draw this region separately for a hypothetical substance. Above the vapor pressure curve the liquid phase is dominant, while below the curve the gas phase is dominant. We can cross this boundary to change the phase of the substance by changing the temperature or pressure. Vapor pressure is the equilibrium pressure of a vapor above its liquid, or solid, resulting from some molecules at the surface escaping into the gas phase. At any given temperature, we can determine the vapor pressure of a liquid using the vapor pressure curve. For instance, if the temperature is 120 degrees Celsius, the corresponding vapor pressure is about 75 kPa. Boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a substance equals the external pressure, or the surrounding pressure. For instance, if the external pressure is 150 kPa, the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid equals 150 kPa is the boiling point for that substance. Next, let's use vapor pressure curves of two substances, A and B, to devise a strategy to separate them from each other. Here, the red curve represents the vapor pressure curve for substance A, and the blue curve represents that for substance B. Let's start by determining the phases of substances, A, and B, in the three regions, 1, 2 and 3. Region 1 conditions are above both substance A and B vapor pressure curves, therefore, both A and B are in the liquid phase. Region 2 conditions are below the vapor pressure curve of A, therefore, substance A will be in the gas phase. On the other hand, region 2 conditions are above the vapor pressure line of B, therefore, substance B will be in the liquid phase. Similarly, region 3 conditions are below both substance A and B vapor pressure curves, therefore, both A and B are in the gas phase. Now let's consider how to separate substance A from B if initial conditions are given. For example, let's assume that the initial pressure is 100 kPa and the initial temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. Under these conditions we are in region 3, where both substances A and B are in the gas phase. To separate A from B, we need to be in region 2, where A is in the gas phase while B is in the liquid phase. We can go from region 3 to region 2 in a few ways such as, by decreasing the temperature while the pressure is constant, by increasing the pressure while the temperature is constant, or, by decreasing the temperature and increasing the pressure. Let's consider a different set of initial conditions. Assume, that the initial pressure is 150 kPa, and the initial temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. Under these conditions we are in region 1 where both substances A and B are in the liquid phase. Again, we need to get to region 2, where substances are in two different phases, to separate A from B. Again, there are a few ways to go from region 1 to region 2 such as by increasing the temperature while the pressure is constant, by decreasing the pressure while the temperature is constant, or by increasing the temperature and decreasing the pressure. Next we will compare the boiling points of substances, A and B, using the vapor pressure curves. At any given pressure, substance A boils at a lower temperature than substance B. The reason is, at any given temperature A has a higher vapor pressure than B, meaning A is more volatile than B. Therefore, the vapor pressure of A, reaches the external pressure at a lower temperature than B. For instance, at 200 kPa external pressure, substance A boils at 40 degrees Celsius, while B boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Thus, the boiling point of substance B is higher than substance A. The stronger the intermolecular forces between the particles in the liquid phase, the higher the energy required to weaken these attractive interactions to get the substance into the gas phase. In other words, higher boiling temperatures indicate stronger intermolecular forces. Therefore, the intermolecular forces are stronger in substance B compared to substance A. Also, the stronger the intermolecular forces, the lower the potential energy. 
Therefore, the substance B has a lower potential energy than the substance A. I hope this video helped you review vapor pressure curves. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.